Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here. I bought Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks, and I got a nice little gameplay review for y'all right here. This is Resident Evil 6, the public demo. So, I have two versions of this I have the Dragon Dharma version, which is more something that they showed the E3, and I have the public release. Now, playing both of them, they sucked. I'm sorry to say like that. I really hope Resident Evil 6, when it's released this, uh, what is it, Tuesday, that the game does not suck. Today is Friday, September 28th, 2012. The re that's the reason why I said this Tuesday, because it comes out this Tuesday on the 2nd. Now, of playing this game, <clears throat> there's been a lot of confusion on towards it. Now, it plays like Resident Evil Raccoon City, just in a uh, camera angle that's been pushed up, just like Raccoon City. Now, don't get me wrong, I love... The way how Resident Evil Raccoon City plays, it was a lot of zombies. They kept up to the Resident Evil things with the zombies and the zombies being around and everything like that. I like that fact. But the way how they made these zombies on this game, they it, it looks it looks good. Everything is good. They try to keep it into the uh, the Resident Evil 2 gameplay with the zombies. You know, you basically indoors. You're more indoors than outdoors and stuff like that. But this is the part I don't like right here. When you kill a zombie, they evaporate in thin air. Like, boom, step on this dude's head, and he just disappears. He's no longer there. They should have just left them sitting on the floor, body parts, stuff right here. Now, this is one of the things I don't like. As you can see right here, I'm trying to change my screen. Now, I can still take damage as I'm playing this because I'm on to select. They should have had this as a pause thing that you could pause the game. And change your settings. Now the problem is, if you're playing a game and there's zombies around, you need to change your settings real quick. You can't change your settings. Hopefully they fix this in the live game. That's some of the issues that I already didn't like. And it was more like Resident Evil, like I said, Resident Evil Raccoon City. The controls felt just like Raccoon City. It played that, played like multiple other games. It played like Kane and Lynch. It played like uh. With some other games, play like King of the Lynch, uh, play like Just Cause, stuff like that. It was just like some of these games put on into one game and just felt like that. Um, out of all, it's Leon's is supposed to have been a survivor horror. Um, as you can see now, um, this is supposed to be in a 15 minute gameplay, but I'm not going to even make it that long. I'm going to cut the game short. I'm not going to make this as long as long as I wanted to. So I'm going to do a little bit of commentating, tell you about the game, some of it. But I'm not going to go into a full gameplay, which this is a full gameplay, but I'm going to shorten it up for you. So, um, Chris and Jake's, uh, I kind of have fun with Jake's because his was more like Resident Evil mixed with Resident Evil 5, mixed with Resident Evil 4, mixed with some... Kung Fu and stuff like that because off the back on the demo they gave him multiple weapons and It's like his was like a lot of fun It just made me forget that I was playing Resident Evil and just made me thought I was playing just a shooting game Now playing Leon section. I felt like that. I was actually playing a Resident Evil game But it's some parts on it that just threw you off about certain sections and certain parts of the game Which they kind of you know they should have fixed it up now one thing I was that I did complain about when Resident Evil first came out, Resident Evil 2, about the puzzles and stuff like that. I really hope that they do add back the puzzles on towards the games, like unlocking certain doors. You need to go find certain key codes. Now, this one here, you do have to find a key code, but it just feels like it's too easy. It's too easy to find it. You just go to a place, go inside a door, and you're able to find the key code right there. I wish they had it that you had to do, like certain type of quizzes or certain type of unlocks you have to do a certain thing just to get that key code and stuff like that now you can see if i don't want to use my guns this right here was like true crimes uh sorry true crimes sleeping dogs that you can run jump on them saints row <laughs> mixed up a little bit of saints row it's like this game has a lot of mixture of different games you can see run shuttle block and stuff like that and as you can see these zombies just Evaporates like I was saying before you get all these little upgrades and stuff like that so um Like I was saying with Chris and Chris gameplay. Uh, it's a uh, Chris gameplay is just I have no idea if I'm going to even play Chris's uh Storyline now as you can see right here. I can take this dude to a certain move paperwork's move grab some of the stuff shoot this fire extinguisher 
they freeze, break up, and crystallize, and they evaporate, as you can see right there. If I can stop moving the camera so much, but notice they disappear out of the screen. It would have been better if they would have just left the zombies there. What I do like about Leon's section is that they do incorporate a lot of zombies onto it. So it's more doing shooting zombies than actually running around and doing like Chris and Jake stuff is. So let's talk about a little bit of Jake's gameplay right there. I'm saying if I'm saying wrong, if it's Jack or Jake, whatever, whatever his name is, it is. Um, as you can see right here, we're coming into like the courtyard. This is inside the college. Um, you got to make your way towards the other way, looking for key cards and stuff like that. So with Chris, I mean with Leon's, you do get dual guns. So and I believe the girl, you get uh, this is one of the parts I like that you can take the weapons that the zombies is holding and use it against them. That's a cool feature that I like, and able to have the ability to crawl under the tables and stuff like that. I do like that feature that they have on it, and they do have this cross gun thing that if you tap the buttons at the same time, the fire, the aim and fire button at the same time, he does like this little cool matrix uh. Gun sling thing that he across his arms, shoots to the side, and the camera angle just starts going crazy. It's a cool little feature that they added towards on it. Now, like I was saying, let's add towards Jake's uh, gameplay. His is more like Kung Fu. As you can see, I did this nice little uh, dog. I forgot the name of the move. Um, Jake's, he is more of a Kung Fu. As you see, I'm crawling on the floor. Sorry if I keep jumping off a topic. Jake's is more of a Kung Fu karate. I'm going to... So if y'all hear this noise in the background, it is pouring outside. That's why you're probably hearing the droplets and stuff outside while I'm talking. Jake's is more of a kung fu. I'm going to knock you down. Gun slinging. I got these guns. I'm going to knock these people out. Kill zombies and type of gameplay. Now, his is not actually zombies. He come across more of horrific, crazy type of um zombies. He come across like the zombies that's like in Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5. As you can see, I just did a dove on the floor flip and kill him like that. That's something else you can do. But Jake has crazy moves like that. Uh, like I said, Jake, he comes across dog type of species, hunters, lickers, and stuff like that. Uh, he comes across different type. I'm using a dual guns right there. Sorry if I keep jumping switching, but I'm just trying to commentate on towards what the gameplay is and what I'm talking about at the same time. But he has this different type of stuff. It's just more of a different type of gameplay it's not like zombies it's more like he has a lot of things that he's coming across from basically everything that was happening with his father so i can understand jake's more than now chris's chris's storyline is like playing socom uh tom clancy ghost recon future soldier max Payne. his gameplay is just straight like that which is crazy i don't know why they made his like that they try to make it as a horror army type game that you playing with a crew on um, a team and you got to basically try to keep your team alive i don't know why they made it like his it should have been chris's the main character he was in resident evil one he, they should have kept him as the zombie one but they made leon for more of the zombie based survivor they should have made chris that way so let's get back to Leon's right now. As you can see, I'm trying to get into this area. And we got multiple zombies. Now, this is the only game that I know uh, that of Leon's that I know in the Resident Evil franchise. Not the franchise, but the Resident Evil 6 gameplay franchise that I actually see true zombies. Everybody else was cross-species type of zombies. As you can see, Leon's is the only one that I'm fighting zombies. And you can see they coming inside the room ready to kill me. Now, this is when I actually had a lot of fun playing the games. That you can see the zombies start running at me, blowing them up, their pieces, start falling on the floors and stuff like that. I got excited like this part. Now, I was real amp about this. I was like, oh, I hope the rest of the game is something like this. That they come after me and I got to actually start. But the only problem that I have with this Resident Evil 6 gameplay is that... It seems like every other game that's coming out, Call of Duty, have zombies, and they keeping up true to the zombies. Now we have this actual zombie game, and they're not keeping up to their name. Resident Evil is a name for zombies. And it seems like Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops, is staying true to the zombies. You got Dead Rising staying true to the zombies. It's zombies, multiple zombies, not two zombies. Now this is what I was talking about, the um, Matrix type of um, thing, the dual gun shooting thing when you tap the buttons. He does like this little shoot, 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 like John Wayne type of shooting thing when you tap the buttons at the same time. Um, I did it earlier. You'll notice that the camera does a different angle when I go into that different type of gameplay. But I'm going to get ready to wrap it up towards y'all. Um, like I said, the way how they made that 
Resident, this Resident Evil game kind of looks more like Resident Evil Raccoon City. So I'm going to end this game play right here. They come inside. I'm going to shoot the zombies through the door. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. So it's your boy Daddy Easy. I bought Jabber Kako on you Spin Time Box. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. One surprise after another.